Hello, my fellow Rad Nation. Welcome back to another video of Planet Zoo. Today, guys, we're going to be building, building ourselves the White Colombian, the Colombian White-Faced Capuchin Monkey Habitat, and this is going to be a great one. I decided to start with the Capuchin Monkey, only because they're just so cute, and I mean, they do live in South America, which is the theme of our park here and i decided to go with a giant loop um looped habitat where the path goes all the way around so the guests can pretty much see from every angle and i decided to build them inside of a dip um, i'm trying to create like some kind of like center island kind of thing um and later on you'll kind of discover that i built like a little moat around the entire habitat to kind of just prevent escapes and stuff even though i did turn turn those off um, just for the sake of the sandbox mode and i'm trying to find them a good um thing center like climbable thing so they can sit in the middle of the island um we will be using like those te like temple things for different like monkey um, habitats but i found this um fence panel that is pretty much I like the way it looks it's got the bamboo it's got the wood it's got that south american vibe to it so um i was trying to figure out a best way to kind of run this around the entire habits habitat so that i can not spend so much time placing these down so i just decided to just place them around the habitat um, the way that they stand themselves up and then later on um once done done with it We'll place them down and make them level with the rest of them and kind of make them equal. Which was a, kind of an interesting thing here. I got to kind of understand building custom, building a custom fence around the habitats. And I mean, it takes more time than placing regular fencing around. But it just looks so much better and cleaner. And the way that this turned out, I think is miraculous. And this does take a bit of time, so I'm just gonna let this let myself finish up this fence paneling and yeah, enjoy some tunes. Alright, now that we're done with the fence paneling, I tried to kind of come up with the idea for ha um, the keepers and stuff to kind of get into this habitat. I tried to go with this underground tunnel um, idea. But I mean, I was starting to feel like this was going to be hard to kind of get the um, barrier and stuff to kind of fit around the entire fence. I mean, if I spent a while with it, I could have got it done, but... It didn't really look too clean, so I closed up the hole and kind of just got rid of those path and I decided to kind of just pick an area around the fence area so that we can kind of place a habitat gate. Unfortunately, due to the custom fencing and the way that the pathway is and the ground and stuff, it did not want to place. So I do spend a kind of bit of time here trying to get this fence panel this fence um, and barrier kind of put together I had to make the path wider and place 
to be able to place it more in there so we can get a pathway in and kind of get it to connect and I did kind of get it to work but I try to decide whether to place all the the paneling around um, instead of just leaving that open space therefore like I mean the pathway is a bit shorter around in that area but I mean it's fine and I kind of just build like a landing towards the center piece there and kind of just make it flat so that keepers can kind of get in there and make it easier for them and I mean it all turns itself around eventually and just placing this um, the null barrier around well I turned off escape so I mean the monkeys won't be able to really escape but near the keepers gate I kind of placed this the decided to place the wooden fencing which kind of turned out to be a bit of a challenge of the angle that I was trying to put it at but it eventually worked so I placed these the rest of these custom fence paneling to kind of reach the wooden fencing I did have to kind of change the look of it I wanted to put regular fence there but I mean it wasn't letting me place anything so I decided just higher up make the wood higher up and kind of get rid of those custom fencing and here's where I kind of decide what to kind of put um, for the monkeys to kind of play on and I want I was gonna go for that smaller one but I was I was kind of sold on the fact that I was gonna put a lot of monkeys in this habitat so we would need plenty of space for them to kind of roam around and um, you'll see me start to kind of structure the outer area of the moat I did struggle a bit to kind of get the water in there but I got a low enough angle to kind of kind of counter that I was gonna let the water kind of sit just above so that the monkeys can drink some water and stuff but it didn't turn out so here's me just trying to decide what rocks to kind of put around this bedding um, to kind of make it just hide that ugly um, ground that's there so I went with the smaller the smallest um, rock that I could have could find and I'm just kind of trying to lay it out around this barrier and kind of just place some random rocks in there just so that it doesn't look so consistent and this, like there's the same rock there the entire time but I did place a kind of these um, straighter rocks there so I can place them around anyway um, just gonna let this finish out Here I um also on like the inner bed I wanted to go with a more different type of um, rock bedding so I went with these um, custom rock feature features and placed them around they did kind of look nice so I try to place them as best as possible in this little area you'll see I place a waterfall instead of placing more of the rock feature because it was kind of getting a bit consistent and it was getting a bit stuck. So I placed this um, waterfall and I decided to get a bit more rocks. I don't know why I put this darker rock in there, but it did kind of speak to me a little bit. So I placed those in there and I wanted to get some more rocks in there just to close up the, the gapping and stuff between there. So I try to hide that one rock, that one flat rock there. I just try to place more rocks and foliage around inside the habitat here just to just so that it's not so bare and the foliage around the rocks and stuff there was this this plant that you'll see I'm placing right now that kind of it was really cool I like the way that it the droopy plant kind of vibe that it's given but yeah just trying to place a lot of plants inside there and I wanted to close out more of the fencing around around the outside 
path. Um, so I went with this log bamboo type of piece. That was kind of okay, but you'll find that I do change it a little bit later on. Um, but yeah, just placing this around. I'm just going to let this run. Now we're just going to get these monkeys in here as fast as possible and I'm just going to place some lighting around the outside path so guests can kind of see what they're looking at and I decided to go with more of the fire but the larger fire lamps and placing on these um, powered butter large powered butterflies we also had to get a staff room area in here near the habitat so the keepers can take care of the animals and stuff. Um, but also, kind of, I wanted to get an area so I could place a power generator because, well, power is very important. So, placing on these staff buildings and stuff, and it worked out. And here's I placed some more of the wooden bamboo um, fencing. I'm trying to find the best way to kind of place it around without taking too much time, otherwise we would be sitting here for so long placing down this custom fencing around the entire path where it doesn't even stick. So I just decided, well, I'm just going to go for this, take the wooden log that's in there and kind of just place it around the path. It looked fine to me. Um, and I was going to do like, run, trying to duplicate everything around the pathway, but getting these... Yeah, getting the power generator and getting these monkeys in there. I decided to place about 40 of these monkeys inside this habitat. So here's me just running through the animal marketplace and animal trading center and just getting as many monkeys as I can. I had to range it between the ratio of uh, males to females. So 30, 30 females, 10 males, which is pretty much the limit that they were asking for. So yeah, I do sit for a bit contemplating on what I was going to get these monkeys to, um, how many, I was trying to get, count how many monkeys I would have to put yet in there, um, but yeah, the ratio did kind of work out. I think I might have maybe one or two extra in there, so maybe like 41, 42. I do see that I'm trying to I try I do try to kind of get rid of one or two of those monkeys just to kind of even it out otherwise I mean the they will it's overcrowding if you know what I mean so placing all these fire torches around the around the whole outside pathway to kind of give it more light lighting um, I might eventually change it and add more at, just finish out the custom fencing but for now I think this what it turned out to be was pretty smooth so I'm just gonna place some trees around the outside pad just so it doesn't look so bland and I'm gonna finish out with more foliage and mist and stuff to kind of give the outside path more mysterious feel the way that the entrance does and filling out this gap with rock just so that it doesn't look so bleak and ugly so just closing it out i know that the rocks do stick through the fence but i mean the monkeys don't really mind i think <laughs> I, w I wouldn't mind but yeah i think everything kind of tied together nicely and just placing more bedding around so these monkeys do have plenty of space to kind of lay their head and sleep and it just everything just turned out really nicely that the way that this habitat came through and I know I did use a prefabbed climbing um, habitat thing, but the way that it did turn out was pretty cool because I wasn't going to really spend much time trying to build a custom climbing frame for them. And plus, I couldn't pass up on the way that those the three huts are, so I mean, you choose. I, I, cho I chose to use the 
uh, the custom built one, the prefabbed one. But anyway. All right, fellow people, we are going to be taking a tour of what we built for the Colombian white-faced capuchin monkeys. Um, so far, I would just want to say I really love the way that this enclosure and habitat turned out and the way that everything came out. A, I poured my entire heart and soul into building this. Um, not really, but yeah, it took a while. It took a bit of time. Approximately took me about two and a half hours to build this. But I mean, I'll do it. I'll do it for you guys. Every episode, I will pour my heart into this and do the best as I can. And I just love the way that I pulled this out and just the way that these monkeys are, they're just so beautiful. And them running around and jumping and it's just so cool. And we're just gonna use explore mode here just so we can kind of get a zoomed look in of them. Um, I just love that the way that they are. And this fencing, I just love the way that this fencing is. It's just the, the South American vibes and everything. It just, it needs to tie it in and this fence tied it in perfectly. Um, just look at how cute these monkeys are and I use those giant light up butterflies just for extra light inside there um, I know that there is some there might be a torch or two in there we'll see once we we can switch it to nighttime um, but anyway I just the pathway I went with the black pathway of course it's gonna run through the entire habitat um, and this waterfall I kind of placed it there just give it a bit of ambience and noise and I just love the way that it looks and I mean they can't really get to it but I might lower get rid of these rocks and kind of uh, lower them or get rid of them so the monkeys kind of kind of jump on there and sit by the waterfall but yeah the guardrail on this fencing is pretty nice I love the way that this fence panel is I mean they can't really escape which is fine and I mean I turned on the I turned off the setting and just the the I need to change this later put the barrier um, change the fence barrier to kind of climb proof I'll change that later but just to look at these monkeys they're just so adorable and just um, everything that these huts are placed on and yeah. I just love the way that this looks even at nighttime changing this tonight it just looks so spectacular and I just let some light in for some moonlight and it just looks so nice at night so when even in daytime there will be some sun that shines through but the moonlight is pretty cool as well and I left there's a torch there for them to kind of get some light back there and just I mean monkeys I think they like it's just some warmth for them as well by that fire I might like place the fire in the ground later and but there is a hidden one that's back there give some extra light there but I just love the way that this climbing frame looks the three huts I'm not sure who the designer of that whole frame is but I just love the way that it looks and it's so easy for monkeys to kind of climb everywhere over that that climbing frame it just ties everything together and I wasn't gonna really waste time I said this in the speed build that I wasn't gonna really waste time to build a whole custom f f climbing frame for them so I just went along and placed that and got some extra rocks and stuff to place down for them just to give them extra oomph into their habitat and it just looks so wonderful but yeah eventually we're gonna get some cinematic shots for you guys and just I placed a like I said I placed on the staff area there for keepers to and staff members to take care of the animals you just see some people running around um, but yeah just getting a last look at these monkeys they are so adorable they are just they tie into the South American theme just so perfectly 
and let's see we can, we're just gonna get a closer look at them but yeah oh just look at it such a cute little baby running around on the frame it's just so cool I mean I love that the their long tails as well it's just it's so super 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 cool the way that they run and the way that they are I mean their faces are kind of a little bit creepy ish kind of but it's fine I love the way that it looks and we're gonna get some cinematic shots for you guys and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Planet Zoo we'll see you guys in the very next one peace out